Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today is 9th of March 2023, and I will show you what's new in Project for the Web. It's here. It's here. It's finally here. Did I say it's here? It's here. I can say from now on that Microsoft Project for the Web has 95% what every project manager needs, and I will tell you at the last, at the end of this video, what is 5% missing, but what is here? It's here, two things are here, and I will not going to show you two things, but three things. First of all, the first most important thing, okay. As you can see, I have my project and I have four phases and each phase has development testing and uh, 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 design and milestone. Okay, milestone, zero. But all of them, let's go to timeline, has finished to start relationship. Why? Because until a few days, it is it was only possibilities. But let's say that I want that my design phase here start in parallel and development and testing, okay? How can I do it? I can do it now. I can go here, let's say for phase two design and go and click and say, phase two design should be in parallel with phase one design. And I can go here and you can see it's here. I can say start to start. The other possibilities, let's say for development, to go here in details, and I can go in details and go here and say, and let's say I want phase one development to be in parallel, start to start, okay? And I want phase three testing, uh, phase two testing to be, okay, with phase one testing, in start to start relationship and i can do it for uh for phase 3 uh, uh, for phase 3 and phase 4 which i be do uh, which i'll be doing right now and i will show you one more important thing now i have my schedule done let's go to timeline and you will see that Oh, let me go back here. That task phase one design starts with phase two design and phase three design. Phase one development starts with phase two development and phase three development. Phase one testing starts with phase two testing and phase three testing. So everything is here. You cannot, however, make this relationship here. Let me show you in one project. Let me let me create a new project. I will need it. And let's say that I have what's new. What is new in March 2023? Okay, here, March, sorry, sorry, 23 in project for the web. Okay, and let's say that my project will start at Monday. I will need this project and I will say that I am project manager and I will say that I need a group, okay, which is already created. It's called blog project for the web and I will add it. So if I go and say task, task A and task B, and I say this has two days duration, this has three days duration, and I want depends on, I can here put whatever I want. I can go, say task A, for example, finish to finish, and I will get that in timeline. You can see, okay. But if I go here and I erase this, okay, and I want to do this in a timeline, let's say finish to finish, I will not be able to do that, okay? It's only finished to start. So if you want uh, to create your schedule in timeline, be aware that you will be able only to do it uh, with finish to start relationship. But if you want another type of relationship, you should go here, okay? And 
choose here, or you can go to uh, uh, information or how it's called details and go here and say dependency, B, choose, and then choose what type of dependency you want. Let's go back to ERP project. The second thing which amazed me is somehow hidden. It's here. It's assignment. If you remember uh, in our good old project desktop version, you uh, remember that we have task usage view and resource usage view. And here it is, task usage and resource usage. Here I can see that John is supposed to work on phase one design here, okay? And do we have, and that's it. If I go to next period, I can see that who is going to work next? No one, let's go here. Here, phase one testing is going to be, uh, uh, Peter is going to work on phase one testing. But I don't want to see day by day, see, because in this week, Ellen is going to uh, uh, work on phase one development and Peter on uh, phase one testing, but I, I don't want to see that, that day by day. I can go here and I can say, I want weekly. I cannot choose month. Here is daily, weekly. So here I can see exactly that Ellen is going to work on phase one development from week 19 of March, 16 hours, then on 2nd of April, 32 hours on phase uh, two development, and then on uh, from uh, week 9th of uh, April, eight hours on phase three development. And this is something which we know as a resource usage view. But what if we want task usage view? No, no problem. Here, not group by resource, group by task. And here you will see that, for example, on phase one is uh, design only uh, John is going to work. On phase two, there are two resources. This Number number two means two resources are assigned to this task, John and Mary. And you can see that John is going to work 24 hours and Mary is going to work eight hours on this week. Let's go back to group, by, uh, sorry, uh, daily. Okay, and let's go here. For example, previous in my phase one design which would start from 6th of March. What if I choose that John should work four hours here? I can do this, okay? And I can say, John is going to work four hours here. Great. What will happen? Let's go back to greed. And we will see that John in total will, will work eight hours. Okay, and since this is fixed duration task, obviously John is going to spend four hours each day. But what if I, let's say I, I want to say, uh, I want, uh, oh, what is that? Ah, could not assignment, refresh the page. Okay, this is an error. Let's rephrase the page. Okay, let's see what we can do now. Okay, here it is. And let's go to John. And I will say, John, you are supposed to work 16 hours each and every day. Okay. Okay. What, what happens here? Okay. John is going to work 32 hours in two days. Yeah. It's fixed duration task. So great thing. Second great thing is assignments. So to make a recap, assignments means that you will have the possibility to group by resource, and this is basically known as a resource usage view, or group by task, which is uh, uh, also known as task usage view. Great, great thing. And last but not least, the third great thing here. As you can see, I created new project, two tasks, seven days, and John is supposed to work on task A 
48 hours Mary 56. Why is that? Because I'm using, when I go to project, creation uh, time zone template, but also resource calendars. What is resource calendar? If you go to Power Apps and you choose apps and click on project, you will get here. So you will see that on Tuesday, I choose for John, you can see here John, that is not non-working day. If I go to Mary, for example, okay, to Mary and go to work hours, you will see she is supposed to work on 14th. Back to John, okay, John, 14th, he is not supposed to work, okay? How did I do that? I clicked on new and I say non-working and I choose the date, which is 14 and all day. So it means John is not supposed to work uh, on 14th. Okay. And now that is why, because it is fixed duration task, I get on assignment view that John is going to work at Monday, not on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and next Monday and Wednesday, uh, Monday and Tuesday, okay. And in total, in these seven days, he will actually work six days. Six days multiplied by eight hours is 48 hours. And Mary, she has no work uh, 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 day off. So she's supposed to work from Monday to Friday first week and second two days from uh, Monday to Tuesday. That results in fixed uh, 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 56 hours. Okay, now let me go here. And let me erase this, okay? Let me erase those two tasks. And you will see what will I have if I go here and if I go to project and say, I don't want a project uh, from a, a template and I don't want to use resource calendar, I will use custom default work weeks, okay? And now, I, let's say that I want that John and Mary and everyone has to work whole week. What will I have here? If I put task A and task B and I put seven days duration and I assign John here and I assign Mary here, Here, okay, Mary, and I apply this calendar. You will see in assignment, okay, that they are going to work the whole week. So those seven days are going to be fulfilled from Monday to Sunday. Why is that? Because in my project, I said I don't want to use template and resource calendars. I just want everyone to work from Monday to, uh, from uh, Saturday to Sunday or from Sunday to Saturday. Sorry, uh, but I am used to that my working week start on Monday and finish on Sunday. So basically the whole week. Now those three things to recap. First, we have, let's go here. Let's go back to our project. We have, as I show, uh, finish to start, start to start, start to finish relationship. This is the first great thing. Okay, here. Okay, finish to start, finish to start, start to start and finish to start, start to start and finish to start. But I also can use finish to finish or start to finish. First, great, great thing. Second, great, great thing. Assignments. So we can use, uh, basically have here resource usage. It means resource and all tasks for that particular resource, or if we choose group by uh, task, task and all resources under the task. Second great thing. And the third great thing is that if you want to change your custom work week, you can just change it easily. So that is great. And that is why I told you at the very beginning of this video that 95% of my expectation are fulfilled, what are those 5%? What I miss? I miss baseline, okay? Baseline is must-have. 
then what I miss, uh, I miss uh, something which is called master project. So I want to see all my resources, or, or, uh, 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 how they are uh, occupied and how uh, their effort through all projects here. So I want to create project and put sub projects. But as I can see, Microsoft Project will sooner or later uh, do it. And until then, I hope this explanation of what's new with Project for the Web in March uh, 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 fulfill your expectation. And I can say, great job, Microsoft. Have a nice day.